What's up, everyone? This is Sansonic91, back once again for some more Let's Play Psychonauts. In the last part, we finished off the Milkman Conspiracy and got to meet a few of the inmates of the Asylum. In this part, we're going to start off by actually going back in for a little sec and seeing what what Boyd Cooper over here really thinks about us. And he thinks we're a glut we're a bottle of milk. Yep. He's definitely bonkers. He belongs here. But anyway, let's let's get to the meat of the matter in this video and let's just go back to Whispering Rock. Because we got some We got one more scavenger hunt item and we got some more levels to get, so let's get to it. God, they let you skip that cutscene because it takes forever. Anyway, the last one is that stone, or rather that skull, outside the isolation chamber. We need a shield in order to get it from the the hole it's stuck in. Otherwise, it's going to be there for pretty much forever. And let's put on the shield. And luckily, the ranger crawler is right next door, so we can just give him all the items while we're right next to him. Pretty damn simple. And also, I should probably read off the rest of the descriptions because I already did it for some of them, so why not finish finish the whole thing off? Bingo! Scavenger hunt complete. Congratulations, you got everything. Go see Ranger Clark for the final prize: the Miner's Skull. And see which one of these is actually the funniest. Key scavenger hunt items. Adult squirrels will sometimes coat a regular acorn with. I can't even pronounce that. Milsalagnius secretion that gives it a shiny golden coat. The, spark the sparkly trinket is used to attract possible mates. Warning do not eat. Enormous, carnivorous, and psychologically mutated. One thing for sure you can say about the valley's prehistoric inhabitants we are glad they are dead. Nobody wants to see levitating velociraptors. Scary. Thick helmets like these have been used to protect those who lit, who dive in Lake Oblongata. Not from the increase of water pressure, but from the hideous creature that is rumored to live in the lake. That is, of course, just an old legend. Hmm, what's next? Rare and beautiful condor egg. Condors were once plentiful in this valley, but their numbers have been decimated by modern hazards such as power lines, telekinetic grizzly bears, and poachers stealing their eggs out of their nests. I think it's just the bottom row now. Fertility skill. Wasp plus fertility idols. Everyone knows everyone knows it, no one knows why, but it must work because look how many there are there are. Okay, that one doesn't really make that much sense, but okay. In the early days of the Citanium Mirage, prospectors and miners came from all over the hunt the mysterious whispering rock. So plentiful in this valley. Some were killed in mining accidents, some claimed some in claim disputes, but many were simply driven mad by the powerful mineral, and wandered off into the mines, never to be seen again except for their creepy bearded heads. That is indeed creepy. This style of pipe was common among the more fashion conscientious loggers in the early part of the century, until a high frequency of loggers initiated forest fires led to a mandatory industry wide shut uh, switch to chewing tobacco, in layer bark flavored chewing gum. You. Telescopes like this were once popular among area pirates until they learned that they could not, they could see farther by using clairvoyance on bird feathers. Makes more sense. And the gold watch. Time. The enemy of us all. Hold the watch to your ear and listen. Tick tock, tick tock. Those are the hoof beats of the reaper's pale horse. Half past eight. He's at your gate. Quarter to four. Knock on the door. Unwinding is the mortal coil that drives the gears to tick and toil, until at last it rests, unwound, and we lay silent on the ground. That's pretty effing dark. And yeah, let's do what they said and try using clairvoyance on this feather. Mm. And mm. apparently it does nothing. Mm. I'm not getting anything. Pointless. I must be out of range or something. Let's go to see Ford Crawler and get our final prize. Well, ranger crawler, anyway. Oh God, fire! Mr. Crawler, you gotta help. 
kids are getting kidnapped and everyone's missing and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well, now, you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits? Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I've got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now, get! Ta-da! I'm done. I completed the whole scavenger hunt. Great Odin Drake! I don't think anyone's ever done the whole thing before. Well, hold still. This might hurt. That felt good. Congratulations! Now get! Yeah, thinks a whole bunch of over there. And he thinks we're just a big pile of leaves. Grand. But, I guess that's over with, so we can finally move on. To do what? Well, let's... Well, it turns out that we know about Moleander's plan from the start. It's all in this reel. The world shall taste my eggs. And mainly, they use a different thing as a metaphor for another. The egg is meant to represent, like, a birthing thing, obviously. And the brain is most to represent the kids at the camp. They wander around for a while until they meet the fish, represented by Linda. They get transported over to a carnival, the asylum, and then they pretty much go nuts and get turned into death machines. So, we technically knew his plan from the start, but it was just in a different kind of phrasing. Not necessarily words, but finding out what the pictures meant. And so we finally cracked the entire code wide open. Ow, Ow. fire, hot. Uh, yep. Let's see how much. How many arrow things? Okay, I should start farming for these. But maybe later. But for now, we only need one more level until we get our new power, so why not? Just get one more core and get right to it. I don't know why I don't I don't know why I don't talk during those loading screens. Whatever. Hey, anything now with that Just now one core will do you. Sold to the big headed kid with See, the how gloves. much are these things? What else can I do you for? 250 and that, 400. Now here's something every young cadet needs. The little colorizing colorizing thing is just back. more of a cosmetic change for his levitation ball. It's really just an orange sphere with green light around it, but you can change it to whatever color you want. But you don't really need to, and it doesn't really amount to anything other than just liking a certain color. So, that's all she wrote about that. I still don't know where that final side card is in this area by the lake. But I'll search for it. I got plenty of time to kill. It's not over here. Is it? Oh my god, I was right under my nose. Quite literally. There, now this area should be complete. And oh yes, I am right. Woot for me. Actually, we're done with the entire camp. Yep, the entire camp has been completed and there's nothing left but the asylum to complete. Holy crap, I'm a cat. A purple cat. That's cool. It's nice. And of course the fish do nothing. Useless fish. I should probably go around and seeing what people think of me. This four crawler thinks I am a sailor. I gotta say that hair doesn't really work for Raz. As you can kind of see on right underneath his helmet, his hair is actually red. So technically Raz is... Nope, he's not. He doesn't have freckles. He's not a ginger. He's just a red-haired kid. And I'm not saying that gingers are bad or anything. I don't believe the whole gingers don't have souls thing. People need to grow up. Like, a lot of people need to grow up, especially on social sites like YouTube and others like that. It's just that no, no one seems to listen. Knew my childhood was so bad, so I'm gonna take it out on someone else. Oh yeah, like that ever seemed like the right thing to do. They don't think before they leap. That's the main problem. 
But then again, I'm not here to talk like Dr. Phil. I'm here to bring you some... I'm here to bring you a damn walkthrough. Of what I do, what I like. To the sanctuary. Oh! I'm probably not going to take take what brains I have right now to Fork Crawler because I can get a lot more before I have to go back. So I'll probably just collect all the brains and then I'll come back here. Sounds like the smart thing to do. Here we get our cards. Beautiful. Also, this is kind of a turning point in the game since we can pretty much do anything we want. We can go to Saucer Nine's lab and complete any levels that we haven't done, or we can continue on with the story. Bellkinis is upgrade at 65. Yep. And believe me, our, I already know what it is. It's not too special. Really? The special things don't come until like... until there's about 10 levels to go. So it's kind of sad that pleasure. you don't get green. You don't get anything good until the very end. At 100, you get something that's pretty much pointless and just brings you oh. humor. But the entire game is designed for that. Here we are, the Collective Unconscious. Um, how many minutes do I have left up? About 11 or 12, so... I'll probably be saving this for like... For... What am I thinking? For off screening. See, right there. This is how every every door except a few, like the basic printing and Sasha's shooting gallery, maybe Lungfish Opolis, will be like. It'll have three lights, and that one will stay off. Because I hate figments. You'd think it'd be something else that I'd hate, but of course, no. Uh, basic brain. I barely got crap in there. Oh well. Might as well kind of continue this and kind of quit thing kind of for Christ's sake. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. These smelling salts exit the level. You've reached the brain of Coach Oleander. I'm currently occupied with matters in another part of my mind right now. But for those students who'd like to run the course again for extra credit or for a makeup exam, I'll leave it open. But I won't be here to watch over you, so please, children, be careful. Your minds mean everything to us. Don't you mean everything to you, Oleander, you greedy bastard? Sweet God. Going through all this and now having all the skills I have now accumulated. It's going to be so much easier. Just jump, hover. Yeah, I'm not going to really bother trying to go through everything, because there's not really much of a point. And these ones are probably one of the most annoying ones, since they fly around the air and you can't really get at them unless you take a nice leap into the abyss. Come on, where are you? Get over here. There we go. That's one of the few you can get without dying. Go for that airplane one over there. Probably won't be able to. Here. Oh, I can jump. Should've. Yeah, sometimes you won't be able to get a nice figment unless you jump right into it. Sure, that seems like the obvious, but sometimes you gotta take a leap of faith in order to get what you want. Got one of the most difficult ones, and it doesn't matter if I die here since I have plenty of lives. I believe when we started this area, we only had like what? About three or two lives? And now we have up to eight? Yeah, it's not gonna be much of a challenge anymore. But then again, it's only supposed to be challenging if you're a beginner. Because, of course, it's the first level. For something coming up later on, it's gonna be even more of a pain in the ass because even though we have all these powers, it's still gonna have to test your mind of what to use and when. 
Don't you like all that philosophical crap that people spew like that? I mean, people get money out of talking, talking right out of their asses. It's amazing what the world can give you and what it can take away. Well, my little rant is over. Let's try to get further into this place. I know when it, I know the last vault is covered by a cobweb, so I wasn't able to get them. So, but now I am. I can easily just jump over the entire field. Easy as that. It's too bad that you didn't have this at the beginning, and you can just grab Dogen and just leap over the entire thing. But again, it wouldn't be much of a challenge. But the prize for getting him over there wasn't really that good either. Don't need to do that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of figments over here. It'll be hard to collect. What I hate most about figments is that they're flat, so if you're looking at them from the wrong angle, you're pretty much never going to see them again. If you, unless you turn your ass around. So it may take one or two times just to see the damn thing. Alright, anything in here? Just making sure that you keep, like, hiding crap in here. Alright, Gaping Maw Throat Ride. With my levitation ball, I should be able to stay a bit higher in the air than last time. Hopefully avoid the flames. Well, that's a little bit higher, but not by much. But we get up here just the same. Raz, you idiot. Why did you leave off? There we go. Rapid succession. Jump up. Thank you. Sorry if I'm not talking. It's just, it's just going over the same material over again. So, what do you want me to exactly say? Yes, go here. Even though this is a pretty much a place you've seen a million times because, well, it's the first thing. Got it. Thank you. That should be the first one. Since that's when Leander told us about the, the cobwebs. And things like that are really annoying because they go right through the floor and of course you can't grab them. So you pretty much have to wait. Until they come down to you. And that's why I'll probably be off screening a few others. Because it's just that tedious. Damn it. I'm gonna let that one pass for now. Unless I can get it up here. Let's see. Where is it? Where are you, Figment? Here. Don't swing. This climb. I guess the most important things right now, I guess, would be getting all the cobwebs because that will, in turn, give you more side cards. Got it. Thank you. Open up. Only under shame. Seems when he was signed up for everything when he went join the army, he wasn't exactly up to snuff in the hype department. And so they booted his ass out, out of the Air Force, and out of the Navy. And out of cooking school, apparently. And so he got pissed for everyone being taller than he is and ridiculing him. And that's the man we see today! Psychopath, that's me, that's pissed off at everyone just because he's short. But I know people can be cruel. I've been there before. No, this is not me trying to connect with him. He's a brain stealing douchebag and he deserves all the punishment he deserves. Alright, so gonna skip this part. I'm pretty much just gonna get the rest of the cobwebs in this one because getting all the figments, of course, is gonna take forever. And dead. A few short seconds away from it. Gotta take the real way, I guess. No shortcuts. Christ. That 
one's one of the more annoying cobwebs to get to. You gotta get at the right angle, or else you're falling right on your ass. Down in the abyss. Got it. Get it. And also, just like in the Milkman Conspiracy, I think I may have explained this before, but this one has its own series of figments on each rail. Yeah, I think I definitely explained this one before. So I'll probably just write the rest of this one, and then on the next run off screen, I'll get the rest of them. Thankfully, there's no Bobby to annoy us this time, because I easily just smack him out of the way again. <laughs> Only Richard Horvitz could make that entertaining. Anyone else, it'd be incredibly annoying, but he sells it so perfectly. And hooray for the big wheel of death! Try and skip it. And try, it might fail. But there's always try, try again. Come on. Oh, come on, I was right next to the ledge! Cheap. Bastards. Fine, if you want me to go through the real way, fine. Oh my god. I can't even do it the real way now. Good gravy. He gets slow. Stupid. Should be an area where I can use my high jump. Right around here. Wait for it to even out a bit. There we go. Eat my ass, Oleander. One more to go. And we know where it is. Right over here. Hiding in the ground. And now he did the smart thing and locked it up. If he did this from the beginning, he probably wouldn't have got caught. Got it. Then again, I could be wrong. And so I think it's going to do it for this part in Let's Play Psychonauts. Next time, after some on-screen, off-screening off completionism, I'll go back to the Asylum and begin the Asylum mind, wa mind runs. It's going to get even more nuts from here, folks. And that is an understatement. See you guys next time.